Hello everyone, story time is A Quiet Night In. Lovely book about the large family. And the large family is this family here, this family of elephants. And mum and dad would just like some, some peace, some time to themselves, like all mums and dads daily want sometimes. So let's see how their night goes. I want you all in bed early tonight, said Mrs. Large. It's Daddy's birthday, and we're going to have a quiet night in. Can we be there too? asked Laura. No, said Mrs. Lodge. It wouldn't be quiet with all of you charging about like a herd of elephants. But we are elephants, said Lester. Smarty pants, said Mrs. Lodge. Come on now, coats on. It's time for school. So there's all the children getting ready for school like you would sometimes in the mornings too. So like that. That evening, Mrs. Large had the children bathed and in their pyjamas before they even had their tea. They were all very cross. It's only half past four, said Lester. It's not even dark yet. It soon will be, Mrs. Large said grimly. Look at them, they're all so cross that they have to go to bed. They have to get baths so early. After tea, the children sat about making place cards and decorations for the dinner table. Then they all tidied up. Then Mrs. Lodge tidied up again. see the picture. Mr. Large arrived home looking very tired. We're all going to bed, said Lester. So you can be quiet, said Laura. Without us, said Luke. Shh, said the baby. Happy birthday, said Mrs. Large. Come and see the table. Mr. Large sank heavily on the sofa. It's lovely, dear, he said. But do you think we could have our dinner on trays in front of the TV? I'm feeling a bit tired. Of course, said Mrs. Lodge. It's your birthday. You can have whatever you want. Well, how? said Luke. The children ran to the kitchen and brought two trays. I'll set them, said Mrs. Lodge. We don't want everything ending up on the floor. Can we have a story before we go to bed? Asked Lester. Asked Luke. Please, said Lester. Go on, Dad, said Laura. Just one. Story, said the baby. Oh, all right, said Mr. Large. Just one then. Lester chose a book and they all cuddled up on the sofa. Mr. Large opened the book and began to read. One day, Binky Bus drove out of the big garage. Hello, he called to his friend, Milky Milk Float, Mickey Milk Float. I don't like that one, said Laura. It's a boy's story. Look, said Mr. Large, if you're going to argue about it, you can all go straight to bed without any story. So they sat and listened to what Mr. Large read to them. After a while, he stopped. Go on, Daddy, said Luke. What happened after he bumped into Danny Duskard? Did they have a fight? asked Lester. Look, said Laura. Daddy's asleep. <coughs> Shh, said the baby. Oh my gosh, Daddy's read himself to sleep. Turn the page and see what happens. Mrs. Large laughed. Poor daddy, she said. Never mind, we'll let him snooze a bit longer while I take you all up to bed. Will you just finish the story, mum? asked Lester. We don't know what happens in the end, said Luke. Please, said Laura. Story, said the baby.
Move up then, said Mrs. Lodge. She picked up the book and began to read. Watch where you're going, you silly dust guard, said Binky. Just then, Pip the police car came driving by. Mrs. Lodge is now reading the story because Mr. Lodge is falling asleep. After a while, Mrs. Lodge stopped reading. What's that strange noise, said Laura. It's Mommy snoring, said Luke. Daddy's snoring too. They must be very tired, said Laura kindly. Shh, said the baby. The children kept from the sofa and fetched a blanket. They covered Mr. and Mrs. Lodge and tucked them in. Oh, look at that, Mummy and Daddy both asleep. That must have been a good story. There they are, fast asleep. We'd better put ourselves to bed, said Lester. Come on, shall we take the food up with us? Asked Luke. It is on trays. It's a pity to waste it, said Laura. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Anyway, they wanted a quiet night in. Shh said the baby. There's the children, all planning what they're going to do. They're going to take the trays upstairs because that's all the food that Mrs. Large helped to put out for Mr. Large's birthday. And there the children are carrying all the food up. Isn't that a lovely story? So in the end, Mr. and Mrs. Large, who were, Mrs. Large was planning a quiet night in. And they did have a quiet night in because they ended up falling asleep. Isn't that funny? So that was A Quiet Night In by Jill Murphy.